What's up gamers, this is Jay from Epic Reset Gaming. It's like 3 a.m., but I wanted to make a little video to help some users out. This isn't going to be an in-depth guide, but it's going to get you started, and I believe this is really all you kind of need to get going. Basically, this is going to show you how to replace the hard drive with the solid-state drive in your PS3. First thing you want to do, Google PS3 update and download the latest update onto a little thumb drive. The website tells you exactly what to do to save it and then you basically just save that onto a thumb drive. Easy. If you want to back up your files using the system utility so that you could transfer them to the new hard drive, do that before you even start taking your PS3 apart. Now, to take apart your PS3, I don't really need to take these apart fully. I, I do believe you can get the gist of it. Basically, all you're going to need to do, this is the slim version. All right, all you're going to need to do is flip it over orient the front of the PlayStation towards the ground. There's a little cover right here. Once you pop that cover off, there's going to be a little Phillips screw in there. Once you get that little Phillips screw out, you basically have access to the hard drive tray. It's really simple. Just got to get this out. I don't want to drop screws. That's why I'm being careful here. On the slim version, you just basically orient this towards you so that you can see this tray. You'll see the markings. And you can pull this little cover, just slide it around until it comes right out. And you see your hard drive tray right here. This hard drive tray is really easy to pull out. You just grab this clip, pull it straight out. Hard drive comes out with the tray. It's mounted within the tray with four Phillips screws. You basically take those out, put your new solid state in there. You use the same mounting screws in the same mounting locations. Orient the new solid state the same way the old hard drive came out. And once you're done tightening those, you put the tray back in, put the cover on, put the Phillips back in, put the cover on, done. Let me show you real quick the fat PlayStation 3. The fat PlayStation 3, pretty much the same. There's a cover right here. Basically all you have to do is pop this cover on the bottom off. You see the tray immediately. Take this colored Phillips out and you can slide the tray towards the front of the PlayStation and then you can pull it out. Do the same thing for this one for mounting screws. You're going to want to orient the solid state the same way that the hard drive was oriented. Put the tray back in, put your cover back in, done. Now, now that you have your new solid state in there, the operating system is not on there. That's what the update is used for. It can put the new operating system onto the new hard drive with that update file. All you have to do is plug your thumb drive onto a USB port of your PS3, turn it on, it'll ask you to keep a controller plugged in with a USB cord plugged into the controller, and basically all you do is follow the screen instructions. It might tell you to press select and start at the same time to load up an update file or it might do it automatically. The fat PlayStation did it automatically for me. The slim version, I had to press select and start, hold it for five seconds, it ran the update files and we were good to go. Once, it done, once it's done doing the update, it's basically done. The operating system is on there, the hard drive is formatted and fully functional and ready to be used. So if you want to put your game files on there from your backup, all you have to do is plug in your external hard drive, plug it into a USB port, Go to your system utilities in the backup and restore. And everything that was on your hard drive is now on your solid state hard drive. It's actually really simple, guys. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think you need a super in-depth video. It's actually really simple. Uh, I can't be responsible for, uh, like, if you're not really tech savvy or mechanically savvy or anything like that, with good with your hands, you might want somebody else or a friend that knows how to do and handle that stuff to do it for you. Uh, that's one reason I didn't want to do too in-depth of a video. I can't, I, I can't be responsible for what you do to your system, but it's actually really simple. If you're good with your hands, you can make it work. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you didn't back up your stuff or you didn't care to back up your stuff, you're, you're ready to go. Download your games and have fun. That's it, guys. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Sorry it's not too in-depth. It's 3 a.m. I'm tired, but I like to keep my viewers happy. So until next time, guys, this is Jay with Epic Reset Gaming. Play hard and peace.